Whoa! Hi guys, I'm Isaac from Tenor Outdoors and today we're going to be taking a look at the Browning Satori CX or Crossover. The main pitch of this gun is that you can take it to a trap range and within the same day you can go pheasant hunting. Now that's a bold pitch for an over-under. So I think you guys deserve an honest review of the Browning Satori CX. Before we jump into the video though, don't forget to hit subscribe down below to get more honest review videos and help us reach our goal of 500 subscribers. With that being said, let's get into our overview. Browning offers this Satori CX in 32, 30, and 28 inch barrels. Today we're going to be working with the 30 inch barrel. The Browning Satori CX is only offered in 3 inch, which allows you to shoot 3 inch as well as 2 and 3 quarter, which is great for upland game and trap shooting. This gun has high vented ribs and side ribs. This allows a POI or point of impact to be a 60-40, which means as soon as you shoot at your target, 60% of your BBs will be above that point and 40% will be below. And this is good for upland game because it allows you to kind of predict the motion of a rising target. This gun comes with three Invector Plus choke tubes, extended, which allows an extra inch off your barrel uh, in full, modified, and improved cylinder. So with that, we're gonna be jumping into the pros and cons that I found out while using this gun. The first pro of this gun, and the very apparent pro of this gun, is that it is just a beautiful gun. The wood stock is perfect, nice glossy finish. The bluing, again, perfect. Browning really knocked my socks off with this gun. You know, if you've been in the gun world a little bit, you've seen ugly guns and you've seen beautiful guns. This is just a beautiful gun. Our next pro is the extended choke tubes. So I bought a 30 inch barrel but as you can tell these choke tubes extend out about an inch giving you another inch of barrel pretty much for free so you don't have to buy a 32 inch barrel which may cost you more money so because of that that's really big in the trap world because it allows you to just poke out just a little bit farther which is really nice our next pro is it's actually kind of a heavy gun and some people may see this as a con but it allows for a really stable shooting and also allows you to not have less muzzle rise as you shoot our next pro is that this gun is super corrosion and wear resistant. And you may think, again, with the first pro that it's just a beautiful gun, you're gonna have to keep this thing on the wall the whole time. And that could be farther from the truth. This gun is actually extremely durable in the gloss and extremely durable in the weathering. You're not gonna get rust on this gun, which is, again, if you're gonna be using it for upland game, really nice. And if you're gonna use it for trap, to have a beautiful gun like this, also a plus. So it stays pretty for a long time. Our next pro, is going to be that this gun is tight there's no wiggle in this gun it's an overall like solid locked gun some trap guns and some over unders there's a little wiggle sometimes they don't close as tight and again that's just a huge con for some of these guns but this gun locks tight it makes it easy to shoot and close another pro that i found out is that this gun just lines up on the target extremely easy with the high vented ribs in the front, it takes a matter of milliseconds. So if you're pheasant hunting and you want to lock on to a rising pheasant, this gun's your gun. Although the pros are nice with this Browning Satori CX, there are some really big inherent cons with this gun. The first one and the most important one for me is that this is just a hard shooting gun. I know they have the recoil pad on here that helps, but something about this cheek rest does not allow for really soft shooting it is going to bruise the side of your face all day long. So if you're planning on shooting this gun for 50, 100, 200 rounds in a day, you're gonna be sore. You're gonna know that you shot this gun where other guns you, you know, just a normal day of shooting. Another con is that these choke tubes are extremely hard to get out and they are extremely flimsy in terms of using your choke wrench that they give you. Some of you guys and gals online may disagree with me and say that I put too much torque on these things everything like that, oil it, blah, 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 blah. But I've done that and it just does not come out as easy as you think. Some of them come on, like this one. Don't even have to do, it comes out right away. But some of these get really locked in there, which is super annoying to ruin your choke tubes. And, and not ruin, but just kind of, I don't know, bruise them pretty much, your choke tubes on a gun like this. Now time for the shooting test. We're gonna be launching two clays, coming off our clay shooter as fast as they can and we'll be launching two shells 
out of this Browning Satori CX. Safety first. Oh! There you guys have it. There's two rounds coming through the Browning Satori. And so now for the final judgment. So my final say on this gun, would I buy it for pheasant hunting? Yes, I would buy this gun all day long. Durable, quick shooter, beautiful shooter, locks on, dust targets, dust, it will shoot every pheasant you ever see. Would I buy this gun for trap shooting? No, I would not buy this gun for trap shooting. It's a hard shooter. It may shoot clays, but it's just too hard of a shooter to be shooting all day, especially if you really want to get serious about trap shooting. You're going to regret buying this gun because you are just not going to want to shoot this gun after three, four rounds of shooting. So with that, I'm Isaac from Tenor Outdoors, and don't forget to subscribe down below or leave a comment if you agree with me or disagree with me. I always love hearing these and see what you guys think.